Finally from us, something very rare, a story about Muslims and Jews worshipping under the same roof. Producer Judith Escalona tells us more about the Islamic Center of North America located in the Bronx. This is one of the largest Muslim concentrated neighborhoods in the Bronx, actually in New York City. In this particular community, we have so far 11 mosques that have opened up in the last 15 years. Sheikh Musa Drame immigrated to the U.S. from Gambia, West Africa, 28 years ago. He is the founder and iman of the Islamic Cultural Center of North America. The sprawling center houses a Muslim school and a mosque, and more recently, a synagogue. Leon Blackman has lived in this Park Tester neighborhood for 75 years. He was president of the Young Israel of Park Tester Synagogue that served the Orthodox Jewish community for 70 years before it closed in 2004. We had seven synagogues. Every synagogue had services every day, three times a day. And the Young Israel of Park Chester had the main synagogue and they had two social halls, which they used Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur for services, and they were jammed. So jammed that they had standing room only. That was then. Hi, Percy. Today, a small number of elderly Jewish men and women are what remains of the once thriving Jewish community of Parkchester. As years went by, the older people passed away, and the younger ones moved to Riverdale, they moved to Long Island. They had their own homes in Long Island. They went to Yonkers, Westchester County. They went all over. They went out of, of the Bronx. A shrinking revenue base caused Young Israel of Parkchester to sell its building and move to a storefront where they renamed themselves Beis Menachem of Parkchester. Eventually, the synagogue ran out of money and faced eviction. At that particular time, this lady, um, whose name is Patricia Tamasulo, who is a Catholic, I may add, approached me and said, you know, um, you know, you have a big space and, you know, we hold our political meetings here and, you know, I'm working with these Jewish people that just lost their synagogue and they lost their storefront and they really now don't have place to worship and it's, 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 it's very sad. I said, um, no problem, let them come. Everybody has a right to have a place to worship. And that's why I was friendly with Sheikh Musa Draman. It is a community building and different groups were able to have meetings there because Musa has the biggest heart. He will not take money from the Jewish people. He will not take money from me. He will not take money from anyone because he believes that this is a gift. If you have the space, why not share it? Have a good Sabbath. So for the past two years, the Orthodox Jews of Beis Menachem of Parkchester Synagogue have been praying under the same roof as the devout Muslims of the Masjid Aliman Mosque a historical first many, including Blackman, consider miraculous. Out of this entire world, we are on the only mosque and synagogue in the same building, in this entire world, including Israel. It's the miracle of God. Miracle or not, moving the synagogue to the Islamic Center had to be approved by Jewish authorities, who found nothing in the Torah forbidding it. That cleared the way for the Brooklyn Bay Shabbat Lubavitchers to provide a rabbi for the Sabbath and holidays. But allowing Jews to worship in the Islamic Center caused Sheikh Musa Drame to initially lose a large part of his Muslim congregation. Though eventually, they returned. In the beginning, it was a war of ideology and, and belief. But later on, they began to say, wait a minute, because they are minds are being opened up. 
The Iman sees a future of inclusion for his community growing out of a simple act of kindness and making the idea of the family of man a reality. To me, he's like a brother. Honest to goodness, brother. Judith Escalona, Independent Sources.